Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today, ensuing the recent release of the exciting Pangu for iOS 8 utility that can fully jailbreak 8.1 on Tethered, I decided to create this video to highlight five of my favorite Cydia tweaks that currently support and function on iOS 8 through 8.1. All right, and to start off, before you can install the tweaks that are demonstrated in today's video, you're not only going to need to be jailbroken on iOS 8 through 8.1, but you're also going to have to have Cydia installed. So if for whatever reason you missed my two recent videos, the first one being my untethered jailbreak tutorial for again, 8.1, and the second one being my guide on how to install Cydia once jailbroken on 8.1, because as of now, Cydia is not bundled with the untethered Pangu jailbreak. It's something that you have to manually install after enabling root access on your device, then just be sure to check out those two videos. I will have them linked to an annotation form on the screen now, and I will also have my jailbreak tutorial linked to down below in the more info. From there, after jailbreak, and you will be able to find this video that I guide to install Cydia in an annotation on that video, or simply by navigating to my channel. So if you're on the main page of this video or any of my videos, just be sure to click my channel name down below to be taken to it so you can easily find all of my videos. And with that said, I also wanted to preface by saying that while five may not sound like a substantial number, keeping in mind the latest firmwares being the short-lived 8.0.1 update, 8.0.2, and 8.1, the latest public firmware, it was no easy task to compile this list as only a handful of tweaks fully support iOS 8 at the moment and even less have been updated. And that's absolutely key. There are so many lists online that I found with broken tweaks or tweaks tweaks that don't fully support the latest firmware. And that again is because the developers of said tweaks have yet to update them. The jailbreak was just recently released. This list does not necessarily contain cutting edge tweaks that push the boundaries of iOS's functionality and capabilities. They're merely intended to improve everyday use. And one last time to reiterate before we get started, the tweaks in today's article are fully compatible with iPhone, iPad, and iPod touch models that are jailbroken by way of Pangu on the latest latest iOS 8 public firmware 8.1. And also you'll even notice that when opening up Cydia, you receive a message that states that almost nothing works on iOS 8 as of yet. However, the five that I'm going to detail definitely do and you will need Cydia Substrate installed. So like I said previously, if you happen to miss my video on how to get or how to install Cydia on your jailbroken device, check that one out first because you'll also need Substrate. And now coming in at number one, we actually have Flux. So tried and true, this tweak modifies the temperature of the display at night to provide a more forgiving view experience on the eyes. And let me focus on my iPhone 6 Plus to show you guys the setting pane for Flux. So inside of the settings app, I'm going to go to Flux, which is right there. And we have a few different options. We can change the lighting type during the daytime, also at night, and you can even set a longer transition, or you can turn Flux off for a while at night if you so choose. However, there is one catch with Flux right now. On iOS 8, it doesn't appear to install the Flux app, which is actually required to launch first and before it can determine your location to decide when to start bringing those color temperatures down. So it actually does fully support iOS 8 right now. However, it looks like we're waiting on an update for Flux to work with the Flux app. Next up, we have Virtual Home. And let me demo that for you guys right now on the iPad Air 2. I'm merely going to lay my finger on the home button and it will actually go to the home screen. So I didn't have to press it. And Virtual Home enables iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPad Air 2, and iPad Mini 3 owners to essentially use the Touch ID sensor as a virtual home button of sorts, allowing for home button actions without physically pressing the button, instead resting a finger on it. So on my iPhone 6 Plus here, I'm going to lay my finger on the home button until it brings up this multitasking view. As you can see, I did not double press the home button, which is how you would traditionally bring up multitasking. Instead, I simply laid my finger on the home button with Touch ID, and it did bring it up thanks to virtual virtual home. So going inside of settings here, I'm going to go to virtual home and we're going to review some of the options that you get 
for this tweak. So you can disable it, which is helpful when you're actually enrolling new fingerprints, and you can disable it for certain apps too, which is also really useful. And then you can determine what you want it to do when you tap and hold, which is what I just did. I have it set to enter multitasking, and you can change what you want it to do when you double tap as well. The options are the same for both. So let me go ahead and double tap to bring up Siri. So as you can see, we now have Siri. I'm actually going to exit out of Siri now, however, and you can set if you want it to vibrate on touch and you can have quick unlock enabled as well. And with quick unlock toggled, when your device is locked and you lay your finger on the home button, it unlocks it without actually having to press it or press any button for that matter, even the power and lock button. You simply have to lay your finger down on the home button and it will unlock it. As you can see, I didn't actually physically press it, it just unlocked and it's as easy as that. However, I did notice that if you're at the home screen, it won't really work all of the time. And sometimes if it's locked for a long period of time, you won't actually be able to unlock it with quick unlock. So expect an update for virtual home soon, but overall every other feature works, which is why it made this list. Next, Zeppelin is a fantastic modification that replaces the default carrier name with any number of logos pre-installed or available in Cydia. And it even allows for custom carrier names. So as you can see with the custom text, I have my carrier set to ICU ID instead of AT&T. So if you just tap on the carrier text option up in the top right hand corner, it gives you a field to input your custom carrier name. So let's go ahead and change it to FAL for now for free app life. As you can see, I now have FAL and it does it instantly without needing to respring. Zeppelin is absolutely great. And again, if you tap the toggle to enable it, you can set any number of logos and there are so many available inside of Cydia. Next up, we have no ad store open, which is extremely simple and it actually helps when navigating Cydia for other packages. It prevents the pesky Cydia auto open issue that causes certain ads on select repositories to force open the app store. So as you can see for the description here, it says it prevents Cydia repository ads from again, force opening the app store. So while it's not the most exciting tweak, it will help in the future when browsing through Cydia. Coming in at number five, we have disable parallax effect. Now this is a simple unnoticeable tweak that completely disables parallax for battery life improvement purposes. And it's unlike the reduce motion accessibility setting, which merely suppresses the effect. And for those of you who might not know what I'm talking about, by default, iOS will dynamically rotate the wallpaper based on the orientation of your device. And that actually does consume battery. And even if you turn on reduce motion inside of accessibility, it only suppresses the effect and it doesn't completely disable it like disable parallax effect does, which again should help on battery life slightly. So it's definitely recommended for all jailbreakers concerned about battery life and using their device for long and extended periods of time. And in light of the fact that the virtual home tweak is limited to a select number of devices, I felt it necessary to add an additional tweak to my list. However, after scouring and installing so many different packages inside of Cydia, I've determined that the ones that are currently available that supposedly support iOS 8 out of the box simply don't make the cut. They don't function on iOS 8 for whatever reason or only a portion of it works. Don't worry, however, I will keep you guys updated as developers start to update their Cydia tweaks and packages, so just be sure to stay tuned. Again, we're in the very early stages of the iOS 8 jailbreak, as Pangu for iOS 8 was released two days ago, Cydia Substrate was released yesterday, so we can expect a number of updates to hit Cydia in the days to come. And if you guys like this video and are interested in my upcoming iPad Air 2 giveaway, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comment's been posted, visit bit.ly forward slash getfreeapplife or freeapplife.com inside of Mobile Safari. After hitting download, press the home button, open the app, and if you're on iOS 8, download and install the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's never even installed as it's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. After that, simply download sponsored apps for points, refer friends for even more, and redeem said points for various prizes including paid apps, gift cards, and electronic devices. And if you don't know what to leave down below in the comment section, try letting me know what your favorite tweak is as of now and which tweak you hope is updated in the foreseeable future to include support for 
for the iOS 8 jailbreak. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I create these type of videos, as well as anything related to jailbreaking and forthcoming Apple products, such as the Apple Watch, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Also, of course, subscribe to me if you have yet to. If you're on the main page for this video, just click the subscribe button next to my channel name. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.